Get it, get it. Oh gosh, biggest of the day. Oh, watch this tree. Lift that rod up, lift that rod up. Oh, no. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Weston Smith. Devin is behind the lens as well. We're at a private water fishing property today. This is one of the premier properties that you can actually rent and have the lake all to yourself for a day. I'm super excited about this property and busting out the new metanium for its first time and hopefully we can catch a big one on it. I gotta go ahead and change into the sun shirt because it's warming up fast. A new body of water, never fished it. Look at this, some fish on the bottom on live scale. First one off the bottom on the meat punch in the trees. Half ounce Guggen Squad tungsten. We're doing the flipping hook. Two weight pegs, straight braid on this setup right here. It's seven, five, heavy, extra fast. First bass in the morning. It's conflicting because we're seeing blow ups on the bank. Like, should we just be throwing the frog and walking bait for a minute? And then we're seeing a lot on live scope down low. So with no breeze and the sun already up, I'm thinking we might just have to start flipping by the way these are the uh, Guggen flipping hooks so I don't know if I've ever showcased them but we just got a Snell knot tied to it that's the best flipping knot by far new hooks breaking them out baby <laughs> oh yes he came back for it that was epic second one y'all we've seen him blow up enough and we're like you know what we got we got to break out the top water so that's exactly what we're doing i don't know if it was this one or another one but it popped that thing out of the water so high and i just kept working it in fact i started working it even faster <sighs> Second one in the boat. By the way, y'all, this property, anything 16 inches and under, you're supposed to remove from the property so we can keep this thing a trophy bass habitat. So we're gonna start measuring all these fish. Anything 16 and under, we're gonna go ahead and coal out of the lake here. Time to break out the big rig, y'all. They're busting shad up shallow, and uh, I just got a fresh pool of braid on the tranks. Haven't broke it out in a while. Muscle XL Black Series rod. Let's get them. DRT varial handles as well. Larger size there, so we can really crank on them. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, that thing hit it hard. What just happened? Wow, I thought it was a 10. I like set the hook right into the tree. Yeah, he's going in the live well. He's a keeper that gets cold. Well, you'd never guess there was gonna be something on this lay down, huh? I probably ruined the spot. We're like creeping right up on it. Dang it, I don't even wanna really turn the motor around and back off of it, cause that'll probably spook him too. Blah, 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 blah. Intermission, y'all. Devin's going to grab some slosh skis. We got to get our heads in the game. We need a sandwich. We're hungry out here. Oh, didn't stop for Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we messed up. We didn't get food on the way here on our two and a half hour drive this morning. That was my fault. We are throwing on some good looking stuff, y'all. And look, there's a lot of bait down there, too. Maybe that's not the best representation. See, there you go. Those are all... Look at all those fish down there. I think I'm going to have to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to put down the flipping setup and but on the tokyo rig to keep it off the bottom a little bit there we go got one on the tokyo rig don't feel too big this one's gonna be under 16 as well so he's going in the well first catch on the tokyo rig today that's the uh bandito bug on there half ounce guggen tungsten I'm trying to see exactly how far in front of the boat i am and there we go we got another bite this one's bigger oh came right off all right we found a couple heck yes oh wow they're just right below the boat look at that Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, fudge. All right, we finally found a mega school. Got a couple going down for it. Got him. Under 16 inches going in the well. Devin literally just left. She's gonna be tripping. Tokyo rig seems to be the number one hustler. All right, folks, so this one right here is that finesse Nico hook. Tokyo rig by VMC. I got that with about 10 pound fluoro to about 20 pound braid on this uh, Guggen Black Series rod there. That's the new go-to. It's like a seven foot three. And then right here, I've got the EWG, a little larger hook here, a little beefier gauge and thicker line as well. Half ounce weight, a little heavier. I just want to have them both ready to go on a moment's notice because I'm going to be up here on the front and if I lose a bait, I'll be able to drop another right down to the bottom. So here we go. Bandito bucks dropping down right onto that hump. Just at the bottom, there's fish right there. Don't know if they're bass or not. There's gotta be a couple mixed in though. There he is. Oh no. Open this pool, let it fall right back down. Mm, he's going for it, he's gonna eat it. 
He's gonna eat it. He got it. There we go. All right. That one was a little bit easier to pick off. He was just by himself down there on the flat bottom, so pretty predictable, to be honest. A lot of them have been in cover, and who knows if it's crappie or not. Like I say, he was just right there by himself on the bottom. Nice little fighter. I don't know if he's going to make 16 inches or not. I think that's four since Devin's gone to grab Shlotsky's, y'all. Oh, well. All right, you're getting removed. So all these bass today, y'all, what do we got in here? Six or seven or something by now. We're just going to transfer them to the smaller pond where there's bank fishing a lot, but they want to keep this one to the big fish only. So we're just going to drop those babies off here at the end of the video. Who knows how many we'll have under 16, but there's giants in here. So that's what we really want to find. He swiped at it and missed it. I saw him come up and hit it twice. That was uh -huh. awesome. He's just right on top of that brush pile of crappie. So our first three plus came on that crankbait. I never throw yellow or essentially chartreuse, and today I am, okay? This is a 15 to 20 foot diver. This one is actually one that's gonna go back into the water, but maybe we can get a couple this size, get, get a couple good pictures with them, and then be on our way. Join the youngins. Got him. Bigger. Taking a little drag or something. Ah. Be big. <laughs> Suspended, y'all. About five feet down. Cast it just past the stump. We saw it on the backside with live scope. Golly, what would you do without electronics? Damn. Cheating, man. It's cheating. That's closing in on a four pounder, everybody. I saw him on live scope just past the tree, okay? And as soon as I cranked by it, the dot moved. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get the bite or not, so I kind of slowed it down for a second. This is the one day I'm like out fishing Devin. She always outfishes me. I just got to crank every stump now that they're actually kind of hanging out by them, but they're suspended. That's what they were doing earlier too. The crankbait was the move from the moment we got here. I was just thinking with the dead calm conditions we had when we first got here, bluebird skies, I'm like, man, we're going to have to finesse these things. And that's why I didn't bust out a crankbait earlier. It took me all day to be like, oh yeah, we got cranks tied on in the rod locker. Let's try and throw one and I forgot I just went by HQ and grabbed some of these deeper divers. Every fish of size today has been caught on the Grande Recon right here. Whenever I see them suspended about five feet down on one of these stumps what I do is I just cast kind of right past the stump that way as I pass it the crank has only dove about five to ten feet so I can get right by them and I can also monitor my depth with live scope if I'm cranking really fast and my rod tip is low I can get that full diving depth but if I have the rod tip up a little bit or I'm cranking slower I can kind of control that and so and then I can find those fish that are in five feet seven feet just hanging out on these tree stumps right there a few feet down six feet down there's a couple off of Presumably that. You want to throw this? Presumably which one? This one, I think. Oh, yeah, there I we go. I was going to say, which, oh, gosh. Let me get around this. I got to lose my drive. Okay, all right, all right, just a little bit, okay? It's coming up. It's all right, hold on. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, gosh, biggest of the day. Oh, watch this tree. Lift that rod up, lift that rod up. Oh, no. Yep, we got this, we got this. We got it. He's coming up. Oh, that tree. He's coming up. Oh, he's taking drag. I don't know if he's coming up. We got to go around this thing. We got to work this motor. We got to chase it down because he's going to get you around that tree. I got you. Nice work. Come on. Come on. You got him. Yeah, bring him to you. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the biggest of the day. <laughs> Crankbait's pulling through. That, was that thing's know. probably the first four. All right, guys. My first fish of the day. I was just holding off, you know, holding off for some of the big ones. Once we kind of got them a little bit more dialed in, then I'm going to swoop in and uh, take the lead. See what we are working with. 3.90, so just shy of that four pound range. Oh, God. <laughs> You're angry in there. All right, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, everybody, we took the big ones out of the live well. We're going to put these smaller ones in the little lake. If you guys want to check this place out, check the link in the description. Gilmer Hatton Star Ranch, everybody. Get on out here. We're going to let these ones go. And look, we just remembered. We're out here past Lake Fork, okay? So I think what we're going to do is stop and hit Lake of the Pines. We've never fished it. We've got a few hours before sunset. Devin's letting those other two big girls go. Let's get that release real quick. And then we got to head down the street. We're going to load up this boat and we are going to hightail it to Lake of the Pines. We want to just at least see the lake, maybe do some graphing around and put a full episode out for you guys. So if you're interested in that, hit subscribe and we'll see you on that episode. Until then, peace.